This is the Opal Tadpole. It's a new webcam from Opal that's 1080p and specifically for laptops. It has a capacitive mute button on the USB-C connector, works directly in Riverside, and supposedly sports mirrorless camera quality. So we're gonna test the Opal Tadpole side by side with its older brother, the Opal C1, a 4K webcam. We'll see how they compare to the Logitech Stream Cam, and also compare it side by side with an iPhone in continuity camera and see which actually gives us the best video quality. The new Opal Tadpole is super compact, lightweight, and especially great for travel. It has a little silicone cover over over the lens, which is great for throwing it in a bag, and has a clip built in specifically made for laptop lids. It also has a little cable management slider here and a USB-C connector on this side that actually has a built-in capacitive mute button. We'll get to that in a second. Connecting it to your laptop with a built-in clip is super easy. Just a little cable slider, plug it into a USB-C port on your laptop, and you're good to go. Now, if I wanted to record some high-quality video content with remote guests, I can go to Riverside and choose the Opal Tadpole as a direct webcam. You actually don't have to download the Opal Composer, which is their free software for managing settings on the Opal Tadpole, but I actually suggest you do, because I find that the default and auto settings for white balance and brightness need to be adjusted to get the best picture. We'll put a link to the Opal Composer down in the video description, but once downloaded, now you have options for autofocus, bokeh, which is the blur of the background, you can adjust temperature, lighting, brightness. I'll put it in all auto mode for right now, and I'll get a better video angle when we test it side by side with the other webcams. But if you plan to adjust those video settings, you'll actually need to choose the Opal Composer as the video input here in Riverside. Then those brightness and other color effects will be visible here. The Opal Tadpole also sports its own built-in microphone, and if you do choose the Opal Tadpole as your microphone, then you can use their mute function that's on the USB-C connector. If you wanted to mute yourself while you were on a recording, you can just tap the connector, and you'll see there's now a red light here and a red light on the camera. That means that the microphone is now muted. The only issue is it doesn't show that the microphone is muted here in the Riverside interface or in any video call software you would be using. To your other remote guests, it will look like you're unmuted and they won't be sure why they can't hear you. But you can see there's no volume going right now to the microphone and if I tap that capacitive button, now you'll see the audio jumps back up again. It would be a nice feature if you just need to mute quickly and maybe have to cough and you know to just to touch that USB-C connector, just remember to unmute yourself quickly. The Opal Tadpole does come with a braided USB-C cable, which is nice, and maxes out at 1080p. This is not a 4K resolution webcam like the Opal C1 before it. And before we do our side-by-side -side video comparison, just so you know, the Tadpole is $175, bought directly from Opal. The Opal C1 is $300, the 4K webcam. And the Logitech Stream Cam we'll be testing is $170, similar to the Tadpole. So let's do some side-by-side -side testing, and then I'll give you my final review. Now, before I start recording the tests, this is what the Opal Tadpole looks like in the default settings in the Opal Composer. As you can see, the auto is not great. This is not going to look as good as continuity camera using my iPhone or even the built-in webcam on my Mac. I'm gonna do some side-by-side -side tests between all of those, and you can tell me which one you think is the best. So this is a test of the Opal Tadpole USB-C webcam. These are some settings adjusted just to try to get the colors a little more natural, but this is with my studio lighting. Now I'm gonna turn off my key light and other studio lights and turn on my ceiling fan light just to see if it does any better. Well, this is with a little different lighting, but I'll have to be honest, the Opal Tadpole is really struggling to get a good picture here. Can't really balance the background light with my face. Right now the back is kind of blown out and my face is a little shadowy, so I'm not really sure how to get it to look Good, so let's test some other webcams. This is now the built-in webcam on my M3 Pro MacBook Pro. And as you can see, it might not be as pristine quality, might get some artifacting or a slight blurriness around the edges, but I find that the lighting white balance is way better than the Opal Tadpole. And again, this is just the built-in webcam with decent lighting. I turned back on my key light. This is now the Opal C1 that's being recorded. It's a different look than the Opal Tadpole. Again, when it comes to color accuracy and white balance, I just don't find it as good as even the built-in webcam on my laptop but this is what it looks like with just the default auto settings. This is now the Logitech Stream Cam. Again, it's about $160 USB-C on the other end. You can download the Logitech software to have some more customizable. You can download software to adjust this picture quality, but this is the auto settings, just like I'm using for the Opal Tadpole and Opal C1. You can see, actually not as good as the built-in camera on my laptop. Like the other webcams, it struggles with bright spots in the lighting and doesn't adjust for that very well. Again, I think the built-in webcam actually looked better than this. I've done some other side-by-side -side tests with the Logitech Stream Cam and other webcams, and for dedicated webcams at a reasonable price, I do think this is one of the better options. And finally, this is my iPhone 15 Pro Max in continuity camera. I can choose my iPhone as my webcam if I'm using a Mac, running macOS Ventura or later. And as you can see, this picture quality is the best of everything that I've tested so far getting the highlights and the shadows as accurate as possible. 
This just simply looks the best. And so if you have an iPhone and a Mac, this is probably your best case scenario for getting high quality video with your laptop or other computer and not have a dedicated mirrorless camera. So as you can tell in those comparisons, the iPhone is still the best camera you can use if you don't have a dedicated mirrorless or DSLR camera. The Opal Tadpole has some nice hardware and cool features like the capacitive mute switch, the built-in clip on your laptop lid, and a little silicone cover. And in different lighting conditions, it can look okay. But if you're looking for a long-term solution for high quality video before getting a mirrorless camera, I would suggest trying with your mobile device first, which you can also download the Riverside app and record an entire video podcast just on your iPhone or Android device without even using a computer. This one device can even become a studio in your pocket. I actually have an entire video on that using the iPhone USB-C port in an entire studio setup. You can check out that video above or the links in the description. But if you really want a dedicated webcam that has some pretty cool features, the Opal Tadpole is nice, but you will have to adjust those white balance and brightness settings pretty granularly to get the picture to look good. If you'd like to see more webcam comparisons, I actually have an entire video comparing the Opal C1 and other webcams from Anchor, Logitech, and other brands. You can check out that video above or the links in the description. And if you want to learn more about using Riverside to record that high quality video content and all the features you get with Riverside, like Magic Clips, where we automatically use AI to create vertical clips of your recordings, AI generated show notes where you get descriptions, chapter markers automatically with each recording, and you get that transcription every time you record. I'll put a playlist of how you can learn how to use Riverside to produce high quality video and audio content. That playlist is right up here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have lots of features coming soon to Riverside. You don't want to miss those. Hit the like button, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I answer those personally. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.